So uh, thanks for uh, for joining the wrap for our for our screening series. Um, sure. It seems like you know here we are. Award season is starting, and uh, and your little movie, which was a, a sort of summer surprise, is still very much in the mix. I mean, are you are you surprised by the reception? Um. Yeah. I think I'm surprised by the reception. I, I kind of, uh, I was hoping that the movie would reach a real sort of hardcore genre fan base. And uh, I was never sure that it would kind of reach any kind of mainstream, you know, reception the way that it has. So I'm, I'm definitely surprised. Mm -hmm. when, when you guys were writing the script, were you thinking of the script as sort of a framework that the actors would improvise on? Or, or did you have other ideas about it? Oh, I think so. We we wrote the dialogue, but it was with the knowledge that they would take that, yeah. Yeah. maybe run it once, and then expand upon it and use their own words, something that felt more natural. So while we were writing, we did know that was the di the dialogue was always kind of viewed as like a fallback. Sort of if 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 improv was not not working, we would have something that was there that explained the story the way that we wanted it to mm -hmm. be explained. As the writers, were there any speeches or anything that you were sorry, you know, got lost in the improv? No, that's a good question. Nobody's ever asked that before. No, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so, no. It was, I mean, if there ever was anything that I felt really strongly about, then I, I think... No, it's, it, yeah. it, it got delivered. I mean, you know, yeah. was, the, the way we set about making the film was, was that it was going to be improv, so I think... You know, the actors delivered what was meant to be delivered, and not all of it was improv, as far as the actors go. I mean, Shalto playing Vickis was improv. Um, the rest of the actors, even uh, Jason, who plays the aliens, his stuff was improv. Some of the other human actors were saying lines that we'd written, so you know, it was it was a balance. Mm -hmm. When when you were making this movie, obviously you didn't have a studio looking over your shoulder. You were able to pretty much do what you wanted. Now with the success of this film, I'm, I'm sure that next time you go to make a movie, you're going to have a major studio sort of looking over your shoulder from day one. Are you, are you ready for that? No, I, I don't think I'll, I, they won't be looking over my shoulder the same way, I think. Uh, I think it'll be a lot like District 9, actually. I've, I've kind of, I've, I already have a contract in place with a new finance group that's a repeat of this film, so I'll repeat what I did here. So you're going, your next movie's not going to involve a studio until it's finished? Um, it'll it, it'll it'll involve a studio at the point that it's sold uh, once the script is finalized. So it's a, it's an exact repeat of District Nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's you know same kind of uh, design structure, lower budget, very free and sort of independent. So when will we see District Ten? Um, maybe after that film. <laughs> so the third film I'll make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2012, 2013. Mm -hmm. Terry, are you? What are your next projects? Uh, I'm actually just finishing up on one. Uh, it's an adaptation of a short film called Terminus. So just just winding up on that and uh, looking forward to a, a new, fresh project. Okay. 